Day by Day, presented by The Sue Shop. The Sue Shop is your home for all things UND, for current students, grandmas and grandpas, moms and dads, and alumni. Find your gear at The Sue Shop. Plus, we offer academic wear, including aerospace, engineering, medicine, and more. Football, basketball, volleyball, and hockey, we have you covered. Visit the Sioux Shop and SiouxShop.com for all your favorite UND gear. Everything we experience on the football field needs to be a learning experience. And what we learned is we got to be better at the start of games, you know, against good teams that we were playing and a good team down there in Carbondale. We faced a, a really good team, a really good opponent. Uh, they had a lot of skills. And when you face teams like that, you have to come out ready to play. And I don't feel like as a team we did that. And you saw the scoreboard and what happened in the first half. Getting off to a poor start really put us in a hole and it affected the rest of the game, you know, how they could call it and how we were calling it. I feel like the second half we came out with more energy, more fight, but we kind of dug ourselves a hole that was too deep, so we got to start faster on the road. We never really got into a flow in that football game, so we need to learn from it and really work hard to do whatever we can to get off to a better start. him as an offensive lineman he had set a sack record you know as a defensive lineman in the state of Minnesota so he had to get over that that hey now you're an offensive lineman and learn the position and I just think he's grown at accepting a role. He's a kid that has really took the coaching um, developed throughout the years and you see it this year more in his maturity and the way that he's taken on a leadership role. This year I started talking more and started uh, addressing the group more and just those guys watching my actions. And another thing is just picking up habits from like other leaders, like old offensive linemen and stuff like that. And that's been the most fun and exciting part to see him grow, develop in that way since when I came here when he was a freshman to where he's at right now as a senior. That's been really rewarding. I think Donnie's done an excellent job of leading that young group and leading our offense and leading our team. Uh, was really apparent at Northern Arizona. I think he had a good demeanor about him, good body language. When we needed to have a really good fourth quarter, he was there for him. But earlier in that game, he just didn't flinch. He stayed on the guys and stayed in the moment just to keep plugging away and uh, showed great leadership there. And that's what we're counting on him. You know, the team voted him captain, so we're really, really pleased how he's handling things at this point. Donnie, he's a good dude. He likes to goof around, uh, hard worker, obviously team captain, so he's a leader, but uh, when you get to know him, he's a chill dude. Uh, he just likes to have fun, kind of like a big kid. Some other interests is uh, fishing. I really love to fish. Another one that might be a little odd is uh, cornhole or bags. I really love to play that. It's a fun game. Get after it with the boys. It gets really competitive. Sometimes there's money on the line. I just kind of <laughs> fell in love with the game. I don't like football. I think he'd be a great coach. You know, he's he's a kid that's he's he's a self-made kid. He's a driven kid. He's everything he's earned. He he's got to work for, and I think he'd be a terrific coach. I coach little league baseball for Grand Forks Park Board. Uh, it's great, fun job. Uh, I love the kids. You know, they're getting after it on the field, and I just love watching that. Um, I kind of I really like coaching. So yeah, it might be a job I pursue. What I, I like about Donnie is everything that he does, he's going to put forth really good effort. And that's what we saw in camp years ago. 
that he's a hard worker and determined. And by those experiences, getting around and seeing that you can influence the youth, not just teach them skills in baseball, but teach them how to be a good person. I think he carries himself well, and, and I could see that he has a future in that area. It's about how he comes out to work each and every single day, give an effort, the toughness. The other players within our program, they see that. They see how he takes notes. They see how he practices. And it's something you want to emulate. Those guys look up to me, and I have to be a leader for our unit. And I feel like I've stepped into that role and feel like I'm doing a pretty good job in that role. Uh, a lot of these guys in the team have become like brothers to me. It's just a sense of family. I feel like they're growing every day, day by day is our thing, and they're getting better day by day. I just have to say we got to keep trying and keep pushing every single day to be the toughest and most physical guys. Homecoming game is pretty cool because everyone comes back. You got former teammates, players, coaches, all that stuff. Uh, you got a lot of um, activities during the week that gets the city fired up for the game. So it's a pretty cool atmosphere. Plus, we've been on the, the road for quite a bit. So getting back in front of our home crowd and getting forks on, our, on their feet is something we're looking forward to. Yeah, we're excited. We need to be excited. You know, every week we need to be excited. But this week, after being on the road a couple weeks in a row, and not being at home a whole lot this year, early in the season. Uh, it's gonna feel good to be at home, but we always talk to our guys, you know, it doesn't happen automatically. We gotta take advantage of this home field and we'd love to get a great crowd out there and play well early and get them into the game because I think it really helps us. What we gotta do defensively is we gotta get after them, uh, get sacks, get turnovers. You know, we've been kind of lacking in that department the last couple games and you've seen that it's, it's hurt our team and so, we just got to get back to being physical and getting after the football. You got to control the football and find a way to do that. And we got to eliminate big plays. You know, they're very talented, can stretch the field and run the football well. Quarterback, obviously, a top player in the league, coming off a year where he's MVP in the conference. And uh, we got to eliminate the big plays and make them drive the football. And we got to control the football. Really excited. Can't wait for Saturday.